Artist Fred Danziger understands that nothing boosts the mood of an artist more than a sale. So he has been collecting art from his contemporaries for years. And he has successfully pitched the idea of a traveling show of his art collection. After stops at Gallery 222 in Malvern and the Mainline Art Center, 101 artists from the Fred Danziger Collection of Contemporary Art will open at the Southern Alleghenies Museum of Art on July 2nd. This short film is about the artwork created by one of these talented individuals. Jim Thornton is a National Magazine award-winning health writer. In recent years, he's also become a highly imaginative digital artist. He uses an app called Procreate with an iPad and an eye pencil to create his imagery. His increasing skill astonishes me. In just over a year, he's gone from this to this. I thought I'd FaceTime him to find out a little bit more about his picture in the Southern Alleghenies Museum show. Full disclosure, I know Mr. Thornton. John, when you and I were young, identical twins. When we were young, identical twins? Yeah. Like we're, but we're not identical twins anymore? We're old identical twins. Oh, okay. But when we were young, identical twins, my ears really stuck out. I think four and five is too young for vanity, but for some reason it just really bugged me. I think the movie Dumbo had come out, and I'd just stare at myself in the mirror, and these ears that were humongous would just, the more I looked at them, the bigger they would get. <clears throat> Just imagine flapping away like Dumbo. One of the things that made it so disconcerting is that there was this rat creature that controlled Dumbo. He rode around on a little hat on top. And so at the top of the picture, you just see the little rat-like claws controlling my life as I flap around in my ugliness. We were pretty much lookalikes, but... For some reason, you had completely normal ears. I think the only reason, if that indeed shows ear differences, is the angle of the head. Yours is tilted back, which makes it more prominent. I had just the same ear issues as you, as did most little boys of the 1950s. Well, I really had this strong sense of deformity. So years later, I had kind of forgotten, and it was looking in the mirror, shape, and I can't see my ears. So over the years, these have gone back like this, and you can't see them anymore. And I just wish that young Jim and his rat puppet master knew that. In making this movie, I looked up the rat puppet master that so frightened my beloved twin. Timothy Q. Mouse is hardly the stuff of nightmares. But truth be told, both Jim and I see monsters lurking everywhere. And when we see one, thank God we can FaceTime and tell each other that everything will be okay. Like my great friend Fred Danziger, I believe fully in the power of art to mend souls. When my brother was going through a rough patch, I knew exactly what he should do. It was John's suggestion that I take up uh, art, and I'm extremely grateful to you, but Oh, Brad, I'm just so proud of you, and I love what you're doing. <laughs>